What we have here is a design project for a class called ME101 at Stanford University. This is actuated by pulling a pin here, and from there both machines are completely self-automated. From here, both machines go down and pop balloons, which are not in place right now, but they signify the, the celebration at the end um, after the, the process is completed. So quickly to show you how these work, um, our launching mechanisms are basically plastic spoons that are powered by rubber bands, um, <clears throat> and there's a required delay between catching and launching. So what we've used for that delay are marbles. Um, that run down a track here, go, hit this splitting device. Because we have different routes that each marble must pass, must go through, the first marble comes through here, it hit, triggers this splitting device, so the second one comes through at this angle. There's a second splitter on this machine um, so that the first marble comes down here to the launcher. That marble comes down this ramp, hits this trigger, which pivots um, about a point right here and releases this spoon. So the marble hits this point, triggers it back, and the, um, the launcher throws the ping pong ball. Into this um, machine, this is the backboard, it rolls down this ramp um, and into this device. This device is attached by a string to another marble up here. It pulls this string um, and this marble gets sent down um, to the celebration mechanism, which is just nothing more than a, <laughs> a sharp stick that pops a balloon. Um, another mechanism that we have that's kind of interesting is a drive mechanism. The way that's triggered is by uh, the first marble coming down and is, as I said before it's routed through this maze, um, comes down and lands in this bucket. This little bucket um, is on a lever system with um, this little device right here. This device um, underneath the machine is a rubber band um, attached to a string that's wrapped around the axle. This, there's a loop right here on the rubber on this um, string that you can see with part of a golf tee in it. That golf tee sticks up through the hole in the bottom of the frame right here and, and one side of it locks into the little hole um, in this piece of foam core and then the other piece is held by um, by this little pin. When the, when the marble comes down and lands in the bucket back here it pivots this up, releases the pin, and, uh, and the drive system is released and, the, and cart two begins moving towards cart one. So, that's a brief overview of how both of these machines work, um, and hopefully they work when we need them to in class. Thanks a lot. I'm Nick Amuchastegui, and I'm working with Karen Nesbitt on this project. Thanks.